The Octagon Theatre is celebrating 40 years of bringing arts and entertainment to South Somerset. I don't think you know what you necessarily know what you've got until it's gone. I mean, everyone does the you know the big trip to London once a year, twice a year, and see the big show. You know that's that's fine. But to have quality entertainment on your doorstep, I mean, you know, everyone yeah, doesn't need another nightclub. I don't imagine it doesn't need another you know theme pub. It doesn't need more housing developments. But you know, the, the theatre is the heart of the community, both for having you know big telly names coming and doing their shows here, but also a, a place for kids to, to perform and for local enthusiasts to perform. I think you can't, it's, it's, you, you wouldn't know what you had until you lost it. And then where would everyone go? It's, it's fantastic. I don't know if people know how lucky they are. You know, I've lived and worked in other, uh, other parts of the country and the Octagon is very special, very special. Um, it's fantastic. Um, because a lot, lot of areas of the country, in much bigger towns and cities than Yeovil, do not have something of the quality of the Octagon. Um, well, what I hope we bring is a place where people come together um, and share something really special. Um, and that is they come here to enjoy themselves, to be entertained, um, to find something that educates them, inspires them, um, and generally makes life that bit better and living in, in South Somerset that bit better. If you come here to watch person, a performer, I mean, how you, wherever you sit in the auditorium, you've got a great view of, haven't you? So you come in, even if you pay £50 a ticket, I'd rather come here and watch somebody here. And the fact that people don't actually have to travel further afield, you know, we're actually able to attract the same high profile names that are appearing in cities, the same types of shows, you know, we've got that right on our doorstep here, it, it's the most valuable asset to, to South Somerset and the economy and kind of all that. But, uh, but as I said before, the, you know, the theatre is much more to that. People invest their hearts in the... Whether, whether you're kind of a patron, whether you're a performer in our, our kind of local amateur companies and, and so on, they invest their heart and soul into this venue and so on. It, it really does mean something to people. I think, again, it is, it's that opportunity, it's that meeting place, it's that a lot of my friends um, I've met through either coming and seeing shows with them um, or being part of a show with them. Um, a, a really good vibe within the town enabled to again with the things that have happened under current management the breadth of depth of things that are available here I can't ever remember being offered to come and see a comedian um, many years ago you know and and now it seems like it's getting people that perhaps may be afraid of going to see something at the theatre going actually breaking down that barrier and going you know theatres for all it just you know depends on what avenue you want to take it brings everything that people could want for leisure that are interested in the theatre and live performances. It brings everything we could need to what otherwise would be quite a small town in a way. Um, it brings people from far afield. It must do some good to the town as well. I just think we're so, so lucky when, when you mention the people, oh, you, you know, you live in Yeovil, oh, you've got the Octagon Theatre. Um, and people come here. I've got, I've got friends that personally come from Sipperton in Devon and they just love it. They absolutely love coming here. They'll support every day of show. So the catchment area is quite large. Um, long may it continue. I mean, it's just gone from strength to strength. I've been here such a long time. It's part of the community now that people feel they can rely on it. Especially in recent times when, when so many services are closing, they feel it's a safe environment, especially for our visitors, because they need to be somewhere that they can feel safe and welcome. So people come here knowing that it's been here a long time and they think it's going to be here for a you know, lot longer. And it's very much part of the community. And they might well see people downstairs that they know in the foyer booking tickets. And it's, it's a very positive environment. Yeah. I think they're very lucky. Because in today's day and age, theatres are closing. They are not all showing fantastic performances. And I think the productions we get in are the best we can for the size of theatre. If we were a little bit larger, we might be able to take a few more. But I mean, it was like the Tap Factory recently. The only place they, that I know that they were actually performing was here in the Hippodrome. So, you know, if we're getting that 
quality of performance, then I think that's pretty good. Every element of art that can be shown in this theatre contributes to a person's well-being. Um, even on the bleakest day, if, if you come to a theatre, then your spirits are lifted and um, it, this theatre is, is a gem for Yeovil and it certainly contributes to uh, the, whole, the whole of Yeovil plus the surrounding area. People drive for miles to come and see productions here. So we really are an essential element of the whole of Yeovil. Here you have the ongoing links of various community groups locally. You've got the art exhibitions here. What happens on stage is just part of a much bigger picture here. And it means so much to the local community. You've got a 360 degree sort of radius around Yeovil that stretches into Dorset as well as Somerset. And people talk about it. it people need to feel that theatre is a partnership in their lives. Um, but I have to say, it, it's great being part of South Somerset District Council. The support we receive from the councillors and also our officers um, in, in the council is absolutely fantastic. I think they're incredibly proud um, of the Octagon and what we achieve and what we do. Um, and we're very grateful for the kind of support that they give. And I think the, the service um, and facilities that they want to provide for residents of South Somerset and the guests visiting the area as well. Um, I think the economic impact as well of the theatre, which you know we talk a lot about the difference we make to people's lives and, and having something that they enjoy, but also the economic impact that it brings to the Oval and the surrounding area um, is huge. You know, absolutely massive. Um, you know, the, the, we haven't had any recent reports done, but kind of you know similar uh, venues have, and it's been in the region of 1.5 million pounds a year, which is a huge boost to the local economy. Um, and is one of the reasons why South Somerset is such an attractive and great place to live. The Octagon Theatre celebrating 40 years. Of bringing arts and entertainment to South Somerset. Mm.